Hey everybody, so in today's video I'm going to go over how I built the footer for our full stack blog application. This is a responsive footer, nothing extravagant about it. Basically what we have here before we dive into the code is the footer section. Within the footer section we have a container, within the container we have a unordered list. And these are the list items within the list items you have the header and you'll have the list item links and I have three of those and underneath those list items I have just a simple container that's gonna hold the icons to various social media sites that is basically what we'll be building today and just to show you it is responsive this is what it looks like on mobile view the container is set to wrap so it's basically going to wrap the list in the container based on the width of our screen. So with that said, we'll go ahead and jump into the editor and begin the code. First, we need to bring in our social media icons that's gonna be in the bottom of our footer. Next, we'll need to bring in next link, which will allow us to link out to various pages within our application or outside of our application, depending upon the link. Now, inside of our footer function, let's go ahead and remove the div tag and replace it with the actual footer tag so that we have the semantics correct. And inside of our footer, let's go ahead and add in the class name. So within the footer class name, let's go ahead and set the background. We're gonna give some padding to the top and the bottom. And on extra large screens, we just wanna make sure that we specify the padding as well. Now within the footer, we wanna have our first div. So within the div, we wanna set the width of it to the max width of the screen to be large. The padding, we wanna give some padding on the X axis. Let's set the margin to auto. The text color is gonna be gray 400. On the extra large screen, we wanna give the max width of XL. On small screens, we wanna change the padding to six. On medium sized screens, we wanna set the padding to eight. And that will conclude the container within our footer tag. Next, we'll wanna set up our unordered list. And for our unordered list, we wanna make sure that we set it to be flex. We want to give it a flex wrap. We want our list items to wrap within that container. We want the list to be centered, so we'll justify center. We'll give a little padding on the bottom. The text will be large. And for this, we want the font to be set to light. Okay, so now that we have our unordered list created, let's go ahead and work on our list items. By design, we're, we're coding this for a mobile view. So we want it to take up half of the width of the container. On medium sized screens, we want it to take up one third of the, of the container. And on large, we want it to take up one third as well. Within the list item, we want to have a, a div. The first div is going to hold our header. So let's go ahead and give a class name of text center. And within the div, we want to have the H2, which is the header of this list item and the first header is going to be category. Let's go ahead and give a class name and we want the text color to be gray. We want the text size to be medium. We want the text to be uppercase and we'll give a little bit of margin bottom as well. Now, underneath our H2, we want to create another unordered list, which is going to be the list under the categories. So I'm not going to go over each one of the links, I'll go over the first one and then we'll just copy and paste and put the other ones in. So the first list item within the unordered list, we wanna give a class name just to give a little bit of margin on the bottom. We wanna set the transition colors and duration to 200. And once we hover over the text, we just wanna have a slight change of the text color. And within the list item, let's add in the link. The link for the first list item will be sports. From here, we'll go ahead and add in the additional list items, one being money, news, and tech. We'll hit save. If we navigate back to localhost 3000, we see within our footer container, we have the unordered list, and we have our first list item of category. So now let's go ahead and work on adding in the next list item. So now that we have our first unordered list set up, we basically can just copy and paste the other two lists because it, they are the exact same thing. I'm not gonna bore you with copying and pasting and changing it over, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and paste in the second list item. And just so that you can see the setup, make sure that you're adding this list item as the under the initial list item here and not this list item. If you save your editor and navigate back to the local host, it should look like this. 
feel free to name these categories whatever you like and the subcategories listed right here um, I just added this in just to give it some styling and once you have it saved, let's go ahead and add in the third column, uh, the third list item. Again, make sure you're adding it under the second list item here and not the first one. And just pasted it in. Again, the same thing that we had previously. If we hit save and go back to our local host, we see that we have our three list items here set up as columns. And the only other thing that we want to add is the bottom footer of the social media icons here. And I think we also have a slight border on top of it to show that this is the separation of the two. So now underneath our unordered list, let's go ahead and add in a div. And within the div, let's give it a class name. We wanna set the padding top and we want this list to be flex and we'll give it a little border. Uh, the border, we'll set the border color. We're gonna set the max width of the border to just small. We're gonna get set the margin to auto. With flex, we want the items to be centered and we want the, the items to be set just to five between. Inside of our div, let's go ahead and add in a link. Uh, we'll need to add the href to our link. And this first link or the first icon within the link will be the Amazon circle. We'll give it a class name where we'll set the width and height of our icon. And the text size, we want it to be large. We want the, when we hover over it, we'll like for there to be a little transition or to, to show that we've hovered or that we have our mouse over the link. And we want that duration to be 200. And we'll set the text color to 800. So with the initial icon set up, I'm just gonna copy and paste this link a few more times to add in the remaining icons. The first one will be for Twitter. The next one will be for Facebook. The next one will be for Instagram and the final link there will be for YouTube. Now the last thing I want to add is just a little branding underneath the links. So underneath that initial div, let's go ahead and add in one more div and this is strictly optional. You don't have to add it if you don't want. Um, I'm just going to have the JA dad listed here so you can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and save the editor and let's go back to our local host. And as you can see, we have our social media icons here. We have the JA dad listed here. So let's go back to our text editor and let's give a class name to this div of text center. And after text center, let's give it a little padding as well. And if we go ahead and save and go back to our local host, we should see that we now have the icons listed here and we have the JA dad listed here as well. So now that we have our footer fully set up, the next thing that we'll work on is our register screen. Then after that, we'll work on login. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the series so 